Hello, everyone, and thank you for clicking on this Daily Hope. I'm so glad that you are able to join me today um, as we, as I give you um, the deal for today. But before I get into all of that, I want you guys to go ahead and go back and watch Pastor Ryan's sermon. Um, if you haven't listened to it, if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and click on his past Sunday, an amazing, amazing message. So uh, go ahead and watch that. But I want to tell you a little story um, of this man named Charles Baldwin. And Charles Baldwin, he was an acrobatic in the an acrobat in the 18th century. And what he would do is he would walk across a tightrope over many extreme uh, things or, or landmarks. And one in particular, he walked over the Niagara Falls. If you haven't seen Niagara Falls and that water and how rough that is, that is a scary thing. Uh, but he walked across Niagara Falls. Um, so people would join and come and watch this man walk over the Niagara Falls. And once he walked over just with his with his bar and just walking across it, uh, he got to the other side and people were there watching him. They were cheering. They were cheering loud. They were excited for this man. And Charles Baldwin then said, I'm going to do it with a wheelbarrow with rocks inside. Everyone's like, yeah, okay, you got it, Charles. Um, and so he did. So he walked, he did it many times. He walked across this tightrope with a wheelbarrow with rocks in it. Many times when people were going crazy, they're going nuts. They were so loud cheering him on. And then after he did it a few times, he stopped. And he says, who thinks that I can do this with a person in it? And everybody says, I believe you can do it. You can do it with a person in it. And then when push came to shove, he looked at a man and he pointed at him and he said, I want you to get in the wheelbarrow. But then the man kind of just had these shifty eyes. He's like, no, nah, I don't want to. He refused to get in the wheelbarrow. And he saw him. And even though he was cheering, when push came to shove, he saw him do these amazing things, but as soon as he said, I want you to get in the beer wheelbarrow, he said, no, nah, I don't want to do that. Now, that can be our faith sometimes as well, where we hear these amazing things that God's done. We have seen God do amazing things in other people's lives and heard stories about um, God doing things in other people's lives. But when push comes to shove, some of us don't trust in God in that moment. We say, God, I know you can do this. Then God says, all right, let me do it. We get scared and we don't trust in him. And this brings up a point that Pastor Ryan said in his message this past Sunday. And he said, some of us trust, uh, trust in God with our e eternity, but don't trust in him today. We need to trust in God today. We have a God that loves us and cares for us and wants the best for us. And we hear him do all these amazing things. But when it comes to today, we got to say, I'm going to let go and I'm going to give you the control. I'm going to trust in you. In Proverbs 3, verse 5 through 6, five through six, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your, lean not on your own understanding. He will show you which path to take. Life is a scary thing. Life is full of forks in the road. And sometimes we want to take that in our control. But we got to trust in God with not only our eternity, but also with our today. So I want to challenge you guys with one thing. What do you need to trust in God today? Is it something financially? Is it a relationship? Is it circumstances in your work? Is it family? Whatever it is, what do you need to trust in God with today? Because he will take care of you. He will not let you fall if you trust in him. That's all that I have for you guys. I'm going to pray for you, and then I'm going to end this here. So pray with me. Jesus, we thank you for today. Lord, we just pray, um, and thank you for this word that you've given us. Lord, I pray that we do not um, get scared, and God, that we fully trust in you. God, I pray that we trust in you in today, not just with our eternity, but with today. And I pray that we see everything that happens in our lives, and God, that we give it to you. We give it to your hands and feet. And I pray that you protect us and you guide us. Lord, I pray for boldness and for the people that are watching this. Lord, I pray that they trust in you, and God, that they look towards you as their source. So Lord, I thank you. God, I pray this in your name, and everybody said amen. All right, everyone. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.